A favorite spring event in the West Kootenays, the juvenile sturgeon release connects adults and children alike with nature in a uniquely hands-on way. The program has released approximately 4,000 juvenile sturgeon each spring since it first began 14 years ago. Well, it really got started by research, looking at the system, looking at the fish and realizing that we've got an issue here. There's been virtually no natural recruitment and that's when uh, the eggs go through to the larvae and juvenile stage. Uh, virtual no natural rec recruitment success for decades, 30 or 40 years or more. So there's, uh, it's really important that this stopgap measure of stocking juveniles took place. There's five populations populations in BC. The only one that's doing relatively okay is Lower Fraser. All the others are endangered and the Columbia River included. So this isn't the answer, but the fact is it's an, a very important stopgap measure. This year's public event held in Trails Gyro Park was another success. Despite blustery weather, there were plenty of hands ready to help the young prehistoric fish. While they look small, these juvenile sturgeon can grow 19 feet in length, weighing up to 1,800 pounds. Not only that, they can also live for more than a century, making them North America's largest and longest lived freshwater fish. Unfortunately, the sturgeon population in the Upper Columbia River has been in a steady decline, which is why the White Sturgeon Recovery Initiative is so important. Since 2000, the initiative has raised and released nearly 137,000 juvenile white sturgeon. Uh, and that's in the trans-border area uh, from Hukimi Side Dam and across the border uh, on the other side as well. So uh, we've been releasing uh, roughly around uh, 4,000 a year. Uh, uh, and we're, we're, we're looking into the future now. Those numbers may go down because we know survival is doing well. Uh, they're not likely to stop because we still need to, 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 to put little guys in, the juveniles, into the system. The survival estimate of the program's juveniles is more than 25%, which is encouraging, but is in no way a solution to the species plight. Don't forget, the adults don't reproduce until the females are 25 years of age, the males 20 years of age, so it's a long time to wait. So even though we've been at it for 14 years now and the survival is good, uh, it's still yet to be determined in terms of uh, saving the sturgeon in the Columbia River here. Biologists have also taken a new approach with raising the juveniles that has had favorable results. BC Hydro have been uh, moving towards uh, not just a broodstock collection, and that's where the adults are caught from the river, taken over to the trout hatchery in the East Kootenay, where all the juveniles are raised. Uh, they've actually, uh, the biologists have been harvesting, collecting uh, eggs, wild eggs and larvae from the river, uh, and raising the juveniles from those uh, eggs and larvae, which is a pretty exciting move. For more information, on the White Sturgeon Recovery Initiative, visit their website, UpperColumbiaSturgeon.org. For Go Kootenays in Trail, I'm Christina Kruchkowski.